Well, a couple weeks ago, we made an announcement about having a bit of an announcement regarding the church plant and wanted to bring you all up to speed on some things going on in regards to the Gilbert Bible Church church plant. And first of all, the elders just want to thank you for your patient support of the Gilbert church plant. We knew this would be a process with many details to navigate, and it has been that. And yet from the beginning, we have resolved not to be driven primarily by a timeline, but, re but predominantly by a task line. Because like we mentioned before, we desire Grace Bible Church to be well positioned to continue in the essential ministries that we've labor labored to build over the years that have been so fruitful in the life of the church. And we are committed to planting in a manner that would enable diligent care for those going and enablement towards true Christian fellowship and body life. And when I spoke last August with some of the initial information regarding what we have been aiming at, we put in front of you Proverbs 16:9, which says, the mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And we also know the truth about God's character and can echo the reality that Isaiah wrote regarding the character of God in chapter 25, verse 1 of Isaiah, where he says, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name, for you have worked wonders, plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. The elders are confident that the Lord is directing our steps and that he is worthy of praise and thanksgiving as he performs and works wonders and plans that he has formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. While there are many considerations and things to navigate, what we do want to make clear is that you, Grace Bible Church, have just been an absolute joy to walk with and a true blessing to walk with as we move forward towards the Gilbert Church Plant. Thank you. On behalf of the elders, thank you so much for your patience, for your joyful engagement. What I'd like to do now is, is kind of indicate to you, share some things with you regarding where things are at today. So we currently have in the low 60s of adults and the mid 70s of children planning to go. Okay, this is encouraging because it's right in the zone that we initially aimed at of 100 to 150 adults and children coming to the plant. And yet it does pose some unique but not unfamiliar considerations having so many under the age of 18. And the elders are continually, continually evaluating the shepherding needs of both churches. And as we have, the numbers of elders going has fluctuated from two to four. At our last communication, we plan to send Tom Angsted, myself, and Matt Kelso. But Matt Kelso, in consideration of his family season of life and the implications of participating in this work, he, alongside the elders, believes the best place for him to shepherd is at Grace Bible Church. So at this time, Tom Angsted and I are the elders planning to go with the Gilbert Bible Church uh, plant. The elders have been working hard, both planning regarding Gilbert Bible and working to fill needs at Grace. And while there is still work to do, we're very encouraged by the progress in filling these needs. You all have participated in filling those needs and being available, which is just wonderful and so sweet and kind. And as we solidify these plans, it, it will only free us up more to continue working towards plans regarding the Gilbert Church. And so thank you for your participation in that. We were aiming to plant sometime within the first quarter, and it's January 9th today, and these are some significant adjustments, and there will undoubtedly be additional changes and adjustments that will need to be navigated. So at this point, a plant within the first quarter actually seems unlikely, and because we resolve to make sure we plant in a manner that cares well for Grace Bible and those being part of Gilbert Bible, we're reluctant to put a specific date forward at this time. But we want you to know the elders are laboring in this endeavor and we are unanimously committed to continuing forward towards this work as we trust God's perfect plan and timing. And we're also committed to communicating more frequently with you as we press forward, especially regarding the tasks that need to be accomplished to determine a launch date. So just know that's coming. We're, we're laboring to, towards those tasks and we want to be more uh, intentional to communicate with you more frequently. What can you do to help at this point? Well, first and foremost, just prayer. 
Prayer is so, so, so valuable in this endeavor. Pray for the elders as we navigate various considerations in this process. Pray for each other as we press forwards towards this work together. Also continue to actively, and this is so crucial, I, I know it can be challenging uh, knowing this is coming and not knowing when, but one of the best things you can do for the progress of, of this work for both Grace Bible and Gilbert Bible Church is to continue to actively and intentionally pursue holiness and faithful body life here at Grace Bible Church. For those planning to go, you'll be receiving an email in the next few days with information regarding our next gathering in January. We've been having a once, in, once a month fellowship gathering for those planning to go. And uh, those of you planning to go will receive information on our next one in the next few days. Now we know this is a lot of new, fresh information uh, for you that the elders have been working through and navigating and you're receiving it in a brief amount of time. And we also understand that the delay and adjustments may be a discouragement to some. What we know is that the Lord's timing is best. And we know that um, he is faithful. And we are eager to trust him and his plans alongside of you. Please feel free to reach out to any of the elders with any questions you may have. We want to be available for you as you navigate this, or if something's unclear, you have questions about anything I've shared this morning, uh, we just truly would love to be available in any way that we can to, to serve you and answer whatever questions we can. Let's take a moment and just pray together, and then we'll continue on with our morning. Father, we thank you for what we know to be true about you. We thank you for what you have accomplished in Christ. And just to be ones who have been reconciled by the work of Christ, forgiven our sins, as we just heard uh, from Eric in our communion time together, is so beyond all comprehension that sinners like us would have a way of fellowship with you. And then to be able to be useful to you in your church, to be able to serve one another and build one another up, to be able to honor you in personal holiness and godliness and corporate maturing. God, these are wonderful things that we are so thankful for. I pray that you would continue to lead us as we seek to be faithful before you. I pray that we would be content with the uncertainties of tomorrow. Lord, that we would find joy and contentment and peace through being able to be faithful today. Help us to do that well, and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen.